Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to go over the process of recording accrued expenses. Now, first of all, what are accrued expenses? Accrued expenses are the expenses that incur in one accounting period, but they are paid for in a different accounting period. Perfect example of this would be a payroll that you would process in January of any year for the last week or last two weeks of prior year. So how do you record this payroll? Now this payroll belong just because this payroll was taken out in January of let's say 2024 doesn't mean it's a January expense. It's still an expense for 2023 and I need to record that in my books for 2023. But how would I do it? So let's see, we need to do a journal entry in 2023 to reflect this expense in 2023. So let's go through the process of doing that. So click on new journal entry. And I would pick the date as 1231. And I would say payroll expense of, let's say, $1,000 being accrued for accrued for. You can put the payroll company's name here. And the other account that you are going to use is accrued expenses. So you are going to create this account called accrued expenses, or you can call it accrued liabilities as other current liability account, because this is a liability for 2023 for your business. This is something you are going to pay off in 2024 in the following year. So accrued expenses, ADP. Now I'm doing the simple entry here, but you could break it down further into like salaries, bonuses, uh, payroll taxes and all. You could do that entry too. Just for the sake of simplicity, I am just using $1,000 and one expense account only. So $1,000, okay, save. Now this expense is, reflect this expense is going to show up in my P&L in 2023 now. But there's one more thing, we're not done here yet. There's one more thing that we need to do to correctly record accrued expenses. Now this is only the accrual. accrual. Accrued expenses are temporary because they are going to come out of your account in the following year or following accounting period. So we need to reverse this entry now. Otherwise in 2024, we're gonna be duplicating our expenses. So here's what we need to do. We need to stay in this entry, click on reverse, as a 1124, I am going to reverse this entry as if this never happened. Now, when you see payroll coming out of your bank account in the following accounting period, in our example, it's 2024, you will simply record that payroll just like a normal payroll because we created this entry, accounted for the expense in 23, and then we reversed it in 2024 as if that never happened. So now you can go ahead and record the payroll as normal in 2024 and you will not be duplicating the payroll. So that's it. That's how you would record the accrual.